hey guys welcome back to another video now in this video what i want to do is to look at how we can fix that scroll issue that view uh the default the normal view has where when you scroll to a different page it will hold that same position and not scroll to the top like what would happen in a normal .html file and the reason for that is because the view is a single page application uh, so we're just gonna look at two simple ways that we can we can fix that issue there is a more inefficient way that is component based or, or views based and then there is a more efficient way where we can put it right in the scroll fix the scroll behavior right from the router so let's get right into it so the first thing I'm going to start out by doing is to create a GitHub repository and I'm just going to call it view scroll to top. I think that's a good enough name. So view JS scroll to top or just view scroll to top. And uh, we can just say scroll to top feature for Vue.js web applications. Just put web applications here. And uh, it's gonna be a public repository so you guys can clone it if you want. Uh, I won't put any readme or any of these because I'm gonna create the view project next. So let's just create a repository. There we go. So this is pretty much all we have here. And uh, this is pretty much all we need anyways. So let's get right into creating a project. So I have my terminal open here and I'm just gonna go ahead and CD into my dev folder and projects. And then I'm gonna create a new directory. So make directory and this is going to be view and um, I'm just gonna cd into, into view. And in here, let me just clear this, we're going to create a project. So I am going to just go ahead and do a view. And you wanna ensure that you have view installed so you can do a view top top version and you will see the view CLI actually, not view itself, but view the view CLI. And from there we can move on. So. We're gonna go ahead and say view create. So we're gonna use the view create command. Uh, we're just gonna call, give it a name. So view scroll to the top and enter. So I am gonna go ahead and select some manual features because I want the router to be installed because you cannot really do this without um, router installed. We do not want the, we do not need the yes, the, the linter or the formatter. So I'm gonna click on space to unselect that. Bubble is, is fine. All we need here is just a router. That's pretty much all we need from here. These come by default. So you can just click on okay. I'm going to go with a view two project. I, I'm not, I haven't really familiarized myself with view three just yet. I've been waiting for some time now because, uh, because I've been using Vuedify, which does not support, have official support for view three as yet. And I guess that's one of the reasons why I haven't really switched over just yet. But I'll soon create a video on view three. So let's go ahead and click enter. And from here, yes, we want to use history mode for this. And then we can just uh, have these in, I guess we can have them in dedicated files. And no, I do not want to save the preset. So we are going to be using yarn for this one. So let's just click on enter and it's do the installation. All 
all right so that took about a minute or so to install so uh which is okay to some level we're gonna see the into the project now and i am going to go ahead and open this in chromium i've been using this for some time now i can't say i hate it i can't say i like it uh, very much but it's an okay id uh let's open on the next screen so let me pull it over and here i'm just gonna go ahead and do a yarn serve to have it running also all right so again this is basically our default uh vue.js project to some extent it's just that we have the router installed in it um we have our yarn.lock file we have our package.json which pretty much just has core.js view and the view router so that's pretty much it's pretty much all that is there so it's still kind of default uh we have our router uh, and our index.js which basically would have the home and the about view and that is pretty much it for the view views we have the about us view and the home view which is importing a component from the com from the components folder and also in the assets it has this this view image or logo for the app we only have this route and some default styling main.js pretty much just is just importing uh view the app and also the router that's pretty much it pretty standard public has index.html and that is pretty much it so for us what we want to do now is to replicate let's see if this has loaded yet perfect so let's just open that in a browser and there we go so this is all that we have here we can scroll over we can skip over to the about page and we can go back so what i'm gonna do now is just to show you how the issues that we have with this here let me open back this and let me go to the index page and i'm going to also copy this route i don't know why this is not highlighting because it's saying plain text but this is view i think i may need to install an extension i think there's a viewter uh, extension so we'll just go ahead and find that oh uh, yeah viewter install that all right so it's all finished took a while but uh it's now finished go back to the project open this and uh it is saying view but still not it's picking up that it's view oh uh, there we go so it's now highlighting which is much better so what i'm gonna do is i'm pretty much going to copy this and put it right here okay so i probably should have added well these are not necessary these are just uh text to config and javascript config but it's not necessary right now so let's save this all right open this and now we have this down here as well now if i should click on this you you're not going to see much of a difference now but let's go ahead and click back to home still no no major difference because there's not much content on the page itself so let's go here to the about page where is that 
and what I'm going to do is in here I'm going to put a p tag that has lorem ipsum in here and I really wish I could uh, I remembered or I knew how to duplicate in in VS code you know? so what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna paste some code in here but I believe that I could also do a lorem and how much I want so yeah that also works so let's save this and go back to our about page I can see we have a lot of content in here now if I click on home you'll see that the position is totally different it's, it's at the bottom so and if I click on here it comes back up to the bottom but let's say I scroll from here go down click on about you can see that we're now here so that's the thing with a single page application where we're getting this small issue it's not nothing major and it's not something that cannot be fixed where it it does not have that default normal HTML type uh, feature where it scrolls to the top of the page all right so let's look at how we can fix this and uh, fix that so it's quite simple to fix this issue what you want to do is just to open the script tag and I do not want to do it with the composition API so we just want to do it with normal Vue.js and then we just create a mounted hook and uh, basically all we're going to do is to return we can return or we can just do window dot scroll to is here scroll to and we basically put the position that we want it for it so i want to have the y and the x so i'll put those to zero and uh or the x and the y and this should bring us right to the top of the page when we when we scroll here so let's save this should reload already now if i go back home and i click on the about page you can see that it now takes us to the top of the page if we do this for the home you can see that it's, it's it, it doesn't do the same but it works for the about page and that's because this is component level so this is from the component level so this is one of doing it i can pretty much just copy this from here and just put it right into the about page and that will also work i want to believe that if you put it in here as well it should we can actually try it out i didn't really consider that but i like to believe that there's a possibility that that could work i don't remember but what you want to ensure that you have is this in mounted because i believe that i'm not sure if it actually works it created or before create so i don't i don't i'm not i don't remember clearly but i know that it works for for the before create i think it doesn't because that run executes before on the server side in an async way so i don't believe it works but maybe it created but for me i always just use the mounted uh so let's see if it works on the app.view file so there you go so if i scroll down and i go home it does not work so clearly yeah it doesn't work so we can't put it in inside of we cannot put it inside of here so that's the issue with this right here so it's not global we have to we have to put it in in separate components so we have to come here put it in this one as well and that is definitely not efficient that is that is certainly not efficient commit you can leave it just like this but i'm actually just gonna comment it out and put a comment in here so to say uh component 
level scroll to the top save and however view view the Vue.js team realized that this was uh, an issue and what they did was they come up with a uh, scroll behavior way to actually fix this uh, challenge here so basically what they did was to create a scroll behavior uh, function that we can put right into right into our router um, index.js file so basically we can just come right here put a comma and I will just write the function so it's basically scroll behavior and then we're gonna put the to the from and the save position and I think this is important there are more than one ways to do this but I prefer this way because it is just much more efficient especially if you want to go back to the actual position that, that you were so what we're going to do is we're going to check so we're going to do an if so we're going to look for if there's a save saved position so i think i pronounced it wrong i said scroll position but if there's a save position then we're going to return to to that save position However, if not, then what we're going to do is we're going to return to the position x where x is equal to zero and where y is equal to zero or is assigned to zero or is zero. So this is how I prefer to do it. You could pretty much just use this alone. So you could just use here and that should be fine as well. But I prefer to have um, the save position, uh, save position included as well. So this is just a pretty uh, basic way of doing it. You can add other features as well. So you can use up the two, like you could do like a two hash or or so, and that would work as well. You can also check these out in the documentation, so to have a better understanding, you can check where it's coming from and stuff like that. So I like to just have this layout there. So let's just go ahead and save this. Should already refresh. It's reloading the page. So now if I go to home, if I scroll down, go to about, you see that it goes exactly to the about this page. If I go back home, you can see that it goes to the top. And this is the feature that we're looking for in our application because that is how a uh, normal uh, HTML uh, page our application will work so that is pretty much it for this project what i'm going to do now is to push it to the github so we're going to do a git init and then we're going to do a git add all git commit and i'm just going to say init commit so that's pretty much it and uh, where let's grab once we we we've done all of that I can just pretty much copy everything that is here I don't want to type it out because that's just a waste of time and I'm just gonna paste everything that is here and uh, then I just enter my credentials. There we go so that's there so now you have this project or you have a way to to actually do this to actually do uh scroll to the top there now we have now we have a component level scroll to the top that's here and uh, we also have we also have the router level of scroll at the top here so that is pretty much it for this uh, video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one